Hello everyone. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to take your Soda Toys pumpkin head action figure and turn them into a statue. <clears throat> uh, the reason why I did this is because the Sideshow pumpkin head is just way too expensive. And I figured the Soda Toys one is a good sculpt, just needs a little bit of love. And um, so I reworked it. I want to thank Joe Evans for uh, his paint advice during the process. I really appreciate it. It's always nice when uh, fellow hobbyists help each other out. Today I am going to start uh, the next project of mine which is repainting uh, and permanently posing this Soda Toys pumpkin head. I've been inspired by several people online to do this. Um, there's been some incredible pieces done out of this Soda Toys pumpkin head. I would much rather prefer the Sideshow one, but that's kind of out of my reach right now. So I figured in the meantime, I can go ahead and do this and it'd be a fun project to do. Now, <clears throat> it's again, it's, this is just like a, uh, I'm assuming like a, a plastic and vinyl uh, toy. Um, it's got waist movement. The legs are fixed. Uh, the tail is bendable and you have a, uh, a ball joint in the arm with minimal movement. You have wrist movement, some head movement, but not very much. Uh, so the idea here is to get like a pose uh, that I want and we're gonna make that permanent pose. Um, probably something like, I don't know what I wanna do with him right here, so yeah. Probably something where he's kind of reaching out like that. Looks kind of rat. All right, a quick update uh, for you guys. I've been going at these joints, trying to fill them in. There is a lot of seams here um, all over this thing. And uh, this is really proving to be a pain in the ass to get all this stuff filled and smoothed out. I shot it with some primer so I can kind of see the joints a little bit better so they show up. And then again, all I'm using uh, to fill up the joints are, is this uh, Tamiya um, modeling buddy. Let's see if we can get that in there. That's all it is. But basically it's just for plastic models. And uh, it works really, really well. After doing a little bit more filling in, it was getting hard to see what I was working on, seeing my line. So I went ahead and shot a base coat of yellow tan from Garage Kit Colors. I like their stuff a lot. Um, I really don't have experience with many other brands. Uh, this isn't from years of experience or anything like that. This is just from what people in the hobby have told me are good paints to use and I've had great luck with them. But anyway, so I just shot a base of yellow tan. It would be darker than this. Um, I did, did this so I could start to see seams um, easier. And you can see how things are filling in pretty good um, around the arms and whatnot. If we come through here, you can see I still have a bit more work to do. So I'm getting into this stuff in focus, but you can still see seams in his legs. Um, again, it's pretty hard to do all this stuff, especially back here, <clears throat> right here in his back. That's nearly, I don't know, that's probably a good five millimeter gap there that I had to fill. And uh, you can still see like the divots. I'm gonna try to clean all this up a little bit farther, but it's coming along. Alright, so uh, here I'm just going to take a soldering iron and I'm going to extend these uh, the surface texture over where I filled in just to kind of help blend it a little bit more. Um, I don't know if there's a better way to do this or not, but this is what I do. You see it kind of like score it down through there. As I'm working on my base color here, what I've gone with is yellow tan, which is what I'm using for most of the mix and then I threw in a little bit of uh, spiced tan and then just a little bit of a uh, gold toner in there and then uh, so the mix kind of looks like that 
and then on him it's kind of hard to tell the difference but that's one leg that's done and this is like the base the original base coat that I used so you can see it's got a little bit more brownish tone in there okay guys so I laid down my base coat and then I put a uh, flat um, clear coat over there to kind of protect what I got going on so far and now I'm doing some modeling um, for this I'm using uh, burnt sienna and uh, I think it's working pretty good so here I'm just doing some swirls around on this the skin and this is kind of give it a different um, tone once I put shading on on here like everything will come together hopefully so you can kind of see um, just kind of move around a little bit doesn't have to be perfect just in little spots all right guys so I've got the uh, skin modeling down and uh, it looks like crap now but uh, once we shade over top of it and add some vein work it'll kind of it'll see where I'm going with it so for light shading I'm going to use raw sienna and that's going to give him his general color and uh, what I'm doing is I've started on his lower leg as you can see and I go lightly over everything and then I kind of come in a little bit darker in any kind of crevices to kind of give it some of that depth and then um, I'll just finish up the body with that and then we'll go in some veining and then some darker shading all right so I'm about halfway through with the um, light shading and uh, I think it's looking pretty good it's getting there done with the light shading and uh, I went a little bit darker with it than I would have wanted but sometimes things kind of get away from me a little bit but overall um, I still think he's gonna turn out good and for the main work I'm going to use midnight blue all the veining is done shots here uh, I'm overall overall happy with the way it turned out there's some things that I wish was I did better some things I wish I wasn't locked into like the sculpted veins that they have but um, overall I like it I'll go ahead and turn around a little bit. and um, up next will be deep shading I think it's looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna do the uh, darker shading now and uh, I'm doing sepia. And you can see I've already started here on the extremities and we're gonna do a little bit around the toes as well. And um, we'll come up through here and do these areas. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and save my work. And uh, I think I'm gonna do him flat and then have gloss in the mouth and things like that. I can't really decide if I'm going to do flat or gloss, but I think I'm going to do flat. And uh, I used Tamiya paints uh, for this. They work really well. They're kind of on the more expensive side, but so I do uh, Tamiya uh, for plastics and um, TS80 uh, for flat clear. It works great and it lays down nice and dry and it goes along really good with the um, garage kit color paints. All right, so it's time to start tackling the inside of the mouth. I think I'm gonna go with uh, Alien Brown. And um, we'll do the upper part of the mouth, the roof of the mouth and along the gum lines. And then uh, we're gonna paint the tongue like some kind of dark red, deep red. Haven't figured that out yet, but we'll get there. So that's laid down and uh, we'll move on to doing the tongue and the teeth. Kind of changed my mind before I continue on with the mouth. I want to go ahead and do some shading around the eyes and on parts of the head and other places. So I'm going to try out um, transparent Bambi Brown, and I think that'll kind of give me that look I want around the eye. The eyes are kind of shaded a little bit darker, and then there's some coloring and darkness around here on the sides of the head and whatnot. So. I'm going to feel that around and see how it comes out. Right, so I ended up using that to go ahead and shade all around. And um, I use that color for any any deep areas too. So I'll come back through here and like right around the inside of the thighs and things. It's not really showing up in this light. But anyway, I also uh, brought it down to the tips of the fingers to kind of darken that stuff up. And then also down here 
the feet. So I think it's coming together. Start of the tongue. I ended up mixing black and red for the tongue and uh, just kind of got that in there like that. And then I shaded around it with um, a really dark red. I am terrible at mouths, but I think it came out okay. I'm gonna use um, yellow tan and I'm gonna do that for all the nails and teeth. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. All right, so now I'm gonna work on the eyes. Uh, what I'm doing is I've got the, um, the yellow tan that I used for the nails. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just taking like a really, really tiny brush, if I can get it on camera, where's that? Um, really, really fine point brush and I'm going in there and I'm laying it in. And then I might do some little tiny red veining in there if I can get it. All right, while the eyes are drying, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do the teeth the same way, the same color. All right, I'm gonna work on the eyes now. I mixed up some light pink and what I'll do is I'll dip a uh, toothpick in there and I'll lightly go over the eyes and I'll try it out that way and see how it comes out. Hey guys, I started doing some shading around the, te the teeth and the nails and I'm using Alien Brown for this. I'm all done painting pumpkin head right now. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do a, um, a Tamiya semi-gloss clear over the body since I couldn't decide to go flat or gloss I'm just going to do a semi-gloss and then um, I'll gloss the mouth and nails and things like that. As I found a cool piece of wood for this wood base for this thing uh, in Michaels and uh, I think it'll work fine. Um, what I did is I marked out the feet and I put a couple marks there for holes here and I'm going to screw his feet to the platform. I had stained this and then I uh, also stained the bottom of it and then added some little felt feet. Here is the base. Um, what I did is I traced around the feet and then I added some shading there. I think I used, uh, let's see, I used, um, sorry guys, transparent bark, dark brown. And I drilled holes and what I'm gonna do is I'll have screws that come up from the bottom and go into his feet. But I think it'll look pretty good. Actually, let's sit him on here real quick. Let's see what it looks like. Kind of get them in the channel place. And got the semi-gloss coat done on him, and then I went ahead and glossed the mouth. Let's see if we can get a good view of that. I glossed the mouth and then the nails, and then I screwed him to his base, which I think he's looking pretty good. Jewel is added. I didn't want to go overboard with it, so there's just a little bit here. Let's see if I can try to video it. But just a little, just a little bit to make it look wet. And I think that's it. I think we're gonna be done. Let's uh, take some up close video of this guy. Try to catch the veining in the eyes. Very subtle. But anyway, we'll come back through here. See all the mottling. Come down through here. See the seams. How they've been filled. Come down through here. 